Hey everybody, just doing my first video, get you guys opinion on my, my big ocean here. This is a 280 gallon cichlid tank that I have in my house. As you can see it's very, very, very populated. Not really planned, but recently got a good deal from a local breeder. Needed to unload some, uh, some cichlids and I ended up I really went for maybe 10, you know, and ended up with about 30, I guess, or more, so. But, uh, you know, again, it's 280 gallon tank, so it's not like I don't have space. And I've used uh, limestone rock in this thing. Uh, it's all natural, I use natural crushed coral as a substrate. I've got, uh, again, I've got a few, a few of those little Gosh, what do you call them? Cichlid stones. Not a real big fan, but I do, the only reason they're in there is I've got some smaller guys in there that I don't want to get beat up on or whatever from a, some of the bigger ones. Gives them a nice little escape, but you know, the tank has lots and lots and lots of holes and cubbies and hiding places. I've got a good mixture of driftwood. I've got a ton of Texas holy rock in here that I've purchased recently. Um, trying to zoom in here a little bit. I've got a bunch of labs recently. That was part of that bunch that I got unexpectedly along with these uh, red zebra. You know, I've got a bunch of those guys. I, you know, some people keep their keep their tanks uh, separated by cichlid type. I'm not that way. I've been in fooling with this hobby for over 20 years and uh, I mix them all. You know, cichlids are an aggressive um, species and an aggressive type fish to keep. But, I mean, you sit and watch, and there's not a whole lot of chasing and fighting going on. But again, this is a big tank, so they have lots of room to, to move around and get away from each other. I've got uh, some peacocks in here, a ton of AC which I really like. They, they tend to school together. Um, I don't even know some of the actual scientific names for a lot of these. Sphontosa. I think it's the way you pronounce that. I may be wrong. It's one of my favorite cichlids, actually. They're uh, really good looking guys. There's a convict in there that made it in there some way. Not a big fan of convicts, but you know he's a pretty good looking guy, really. But I um, built this stand myself, canopy myself. I'm not a carpenter, but um, you know, it turned out really well. Built it by hand, of course, by myself. And got the canopy up here, and my doors, you know, drawers, doors, whatever. But it's a big tank, eight foot long. And the staggering thing you guys may find interesting is this is on a second story crazy maybe but you know this is probably um, I don't know a couple tons I guess with uh, the water in it and the uh, rock and the stand itself I had to build the stand in the room of course this is my you know large um, man cave I call it it's a bonus room over the garage is what it is so you know, tons of room in here. It's a big room. Got my big sectional, my big 65 TV. Now this one, uh, this is my little 29 Nano, and I've got this extra 406 I put on it recently because I'd start up the water, adding some uh, stuff for the live plants. So I just hooked it up temporarily on the outside just to get it good and filtered. But some good-looking guys in here too. This is typically where I put the smaller fish. You know, it's not really ready to go into the big daddy yet, but, uh, you know, for their safety, I put them in here. Back there's a uh, long fin Jack Dempsey. I had two, ordered them actually out of Florida, and one died, which sucked, but you can see him sort of. I've never had, this the first ones of those I've ever owned is a long fin Jack Dempsey. They're beautiful when they mature. I mean, this guy's good looking now, but he's small. Um, 
but uh, anyway this is my this small planted tank that I tinker with got a lot of live plants in there and a little bit of holy rock in there and you know it's a pretty cool little tank just to play around oh no actually I've got a dead one right there look at that dang it sucks man well didn't know I had him dead little polka dotted guys I can't think of the actual term for them there's three of them now there's two unfortunately so the only thing with these small fish is I sort of hard to hard to get through their baby years sometimes but that AC right there I found him in my sump today he got sucked in from the 280 a lot of times they do I've tried to you know to block those those off as best I can back there see around where the tanks drilled so that fish can't get in behind there I just took some uh, screen and put it up there but they're still finding ways to get in there but uh, it's drilled on both sides of course and I'll look sporadically sometimes and sure enough there's a fish in the back and a lot of times I think when the lights go out at night they do come out and I think they go back there on purpose to just to get away I guess have their own little little hiding place but I just worry about them going through the systems so I got a huge sump underneath here and you know they could easily get stuck or whatever but with a tank this big it's hard to keep a good accurate head count because uh, you know there's it's just such a big tank um, you don't miss them sometimes for a couple of days, if even that. But uh, in many cases, uh, most cases rather, they're they're actually in there. You just don't see them. There's just tons of places they can be and hide and all that good stuff. But um, anyway, this is uh, this is the 280. Beautiful tank, if I may say so myself. You know, it's a real uh, eye catcher, conversation piece. But I uh, thought I'd show everybody, see what you guys think. Let you look a little bit here, see what all we can see. Blood parrots, I've had those for a while. There's three of those in there. Had them in my 75 when I had it. Uh, there's another one. My big guys. Those are cool fish, I think peaceful they don't really bother anything and I mean there's a little bit of everything in here as you can see Texas cichlids got two of those in there tons of yellow labs there's the AC bigger AC hope I'm pronouncing that right but there's a ton of baby AC in here I hear some see, I like them because they sort of school together there's four or five together, I guess, now. And they sort of hang out together. Um, there's a lot of plecos in here. Uh, I have one rare pleco that I've had for a while. Actually, right there he is. I don't know if you can really see him, but no, it doesn't do him a lot of justice. He's barely sticking his head out right there under that rock, but he's a wild looking pleco. I don't even know that actual term but he was 50 bucks, I know that. And I've had him for some time now, but. Uh, anyway. Let's have a relax, man, right here. Come in from a long day, plop down and TV off. None of these gaming systems on or none of that stuff. And I could just sit and watch these guys and man, I can instantly feel feel uh, de-stressed, you know, just sort of leaves your body just to sit and watch them. Um, but anyway, that's my video for now. Um, just looking around a little bit. That's it, guys. Hope you like it. You know, comment. 
please nice comments don't be silly like a lot of them I see commenting on people's stuff you know but anyway that's it uh, post more later and again this is my first one so I hope I didn't stumble or stutter or you know bore you but uh, any questions comments concerns let me know I'm trying to help you the best I can um, but uh, I hope you enjoy my tank and my little video I did here. It's hump day. Everybody has a good day. Rest of the week. I'm going to try to upload this thing. See if I can figure out what I'm doing. Again, I've never loaded one before, so this will be the first. Okay, over and out.